Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am participating in another round of the telephone game with the Secret Not Secret Kit Club and I am actually kicking off this round. I am number one for my team, the Artistic Arsenal team and I'm super excited because I decided rather than picking a layout to scrap lift or use as inspiration from somebody else that I would actually go back through some old layouts of mine and use that as inspiration. So I will show you the layouts shortly. Um, but yeah, that is what I decided to do. So I am actually working with a bit of a grid pattern. I also wanted to pick something that um, people could, I guess, um, take inspiration from pretty easily, but easily be able to put their own sort of spin on it. So I thought you kind of grid pattern it was a kind of good way to go for the the number one in the team so I should tell you who else is in our team so we have artistic oh wait that that's the that's the layout did you see it I had two layouts they are I think from 2015 when I first really started doing um 12 by 12 scrapbooking and project life so yeah they're two layouts that I did way back then and I use those as inspiration for creating this layout. So I don't really scrap lift them because they are quite different. But um, I definitely took inspiration from that grid concept and put this layout together. I will tell you my team members, but I'll also let you know that I am using the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection for this layout. And it's just nice and fun and bright. And the photos are just of my son and I, a couple of selfies when we're in the sun. <laughs> um, so they have, I think one of them has like the cool sun effect although I can't actually remember it was a while ago that I made this layout and between now and doing the voiceover and also I know I showed you the photos at the start but I don't really remember if one of them has the cool sun effect or oh yeah there we go it does so one of them has that kind of sun peeking through that makes the sort of photo a little bit distorted and then the other one doesn't have that but they're essentially the same photo so I am just creating some background with some different papers, creating some layers, and then I had to go off and get my son up for his nap, and then I've come back quite a few hours later. That's why the sun is slightly different, and I will continue putting it together. So let me tell you who else is in our team. So I am number one, and I am followed by Alyssa, and then Janet, and then Christy, Vanessa, Christina, Kristen, Crystal, and Rachel. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of us. So we will have a layout up every day for nine days. And obviously I'm the first. So I will have links to all of the ladies' channels in my description box. But I won't have links to their exact videos because they may not be up yet, depending when you're watching this. I will try to go back and edit the description to put the link straight to their video once it's gone live. But we all know that I'm pretty hopeless at going back and doing those things. So we will see how we go. But those nine lovely ladies form the Artistic Arsenal team. And it's going to be super fun to see what everyone comes up with using my layout as inspiration. I'm excited. So I decided that my title would be Sunshine and smiles so I used the ampersand and from the ephemera pack now the gold thickers and that gold ampersand are not the same kind of shade but I just let it go and then I didn't want my title to go outside of the pattern paper square or rectangle background so I actually split sunshine into two words even though it's one word but I then just cut up I think an x thicker and I made a little dash so sun dash shine and smiles and then I'm using the florals from the whimsical collection to create a, only two clusters one at the top and one at the bottom and I'm going to stick those down and then that's it that's that's this layout done it was very quick to put together once I'd kind of in my head planned out what I wanted to do um, it came together in about 20 minutes I think um, so that was heaps of fun so you can see me there creating my clusters and then I'm just going to stick those down and, you know, add a few little finishing touches as I think Laura Alberts refers to them as just little, little finishing bits, you know, little enamel dots or splatters or sequins or little finishing touches like that. That's what I like to add to my layouts too. So you can see here I am just sticking down my clusters. Some of them I'm sticking flat. Some of them I am popping up. 
So, oh, sorry, I was sticking down the ampersand first and then I'll work on my clusters. So I'm sticking a few things flat, as I said, popping some things up to add a bit of dimension and then I'll come back in and just check out the sticker sheet and the puffy stickers and the chipboard and see where there's anything else that I want to add to those clusters just to add a little bit of different texture. So what else can I tell you? Um, I think if you've watched my videos a few times, this is the third time I'm participating in this telephone hop. So you should already know how the game works. But in Australia, we call it Chinese Whispers. And basically, um, I'm creating this layout. I am sending a photo of this layout to Alyssa, who's next in line. And she is creating a layout based on my layout. And then she will send her layout to Janet and so on and so forth and by the time we get to the end it'll just be really fun to see how it has evolved from my original layout so we only see the layouts of the person in front of us so I won't actually see anybody's layout until we post them all live so that's exciting um, and then everybody else will only see the layout of the person before them um, so it's heaps of fun and you know, I, I can't remember if it was Christina who came up with this idea in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club online crop. It might have actually been um, Christy, I think, from Christy's Beautiful Life. I think she came up with this idea. Anyway, I'm not really sure who the first kind of came up with the idea, but it's fun one. And we all had so much fun doing it that we decided to keep it going and we've done quite a few um, rounds and Christy has definitely been organising all those rounds and she does a fabulous job because there's a lot of us who participate. I think there's three separate YouTube groups going and there's also three or four um, non-YouTube groups that are just happening in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club Facebook group and they're just making them themselves and um, sharing them live just once a day like we are on YouTube and yeah, it's heaps of fun. So here I am. I've stuck my clusters down. I've added a butterfly to the bottom, uh, sorry, to the top. And I think I've added one to the bottom as well. And now I'm just coming in and adding a couple of other little bits and pieces from the chipboard and the puffy stickers. So I'm just adding a leaf and another leaf up the top from the chipboard. I think I add a flower as well. Um, oh no, that was two leaves from the chipboard sheet. And then I'm pretty sure I might add something from the puffy stickers as well. But I don't remember. Let's have a look. Oh, these are the cardstock stickers. Just seeing if there's anything there that I want to add. You know what? I have the most trouble with using stickers. I'll be honest. These cardstock stickers. I don't know what it is. It's not just this collection. In general, I have a hard time using them. So I probably need to uh, work harder at doing that. Have that as my focus. But yes, I do find it difficult. So I'm just adding a few things from the puffy sheet, a couple of flowers, I think, just to create a slightly different texture. And then I come in with the enamel shapes, I think. That's what I'm doing now. And I'm pretty sure I go with butterflies or am I doing the dots? Somebody tell me because I cannot see it on my tiny iPhone screen. And I'm doing the dots. So I think I end up maybe doing four clusters of three, which I know is a bit weird, but however, I've, I've got two clusters of, of ephemera going on. So I'm not going with the rule of thirds this time around. I'm definitely gone with even numbers. Um, so I've added those dots and then I'm pretty sure I'm just coming in with Heidi Swap Color Shine and I'm done. So I will um, just put some splatters on. I think I do gold because I always do gold and I'm pretty sure I do the navy because again, always do the navy. It's my fave. Oh, look at that. Adding another last little bit from the chipboard sheet. Uh, another flower up the top and then just checking it out going, yeah, I'm happy with all of that. So I'll add some splatters. So make sure you come back tomorrow and you check out Alyssa. Uh, I will have a link to her channel down below. And again, I will try to update it um, to the direct video link when I can, when it goes live. And then make sure you check out everybody else's because it's so much fun, this hop. So much fun. And I love seeing the evolution of layouts and how people use other people's layouts as inspiration. Um, yeah, I just, it's just great. It's great fun. So I will try and also remember to put a link to the other two YouTube hops that are going on as well. So I know one of them, Hannah is starting and um, who's the other one? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Ronnie Sue. Um, she's starting with the scrappy shenanigans and Hannah is starting with the inspiring influences. So I'll try to make sure I link to their channel down below. 
So we are done. I am just adding the gold and navy Heidi Swap Color Shine splatters. I will show you some quick close ups, and that's it. I hope you've liked it. I hope you've liked my layout. I love doing grid layouts. I think they're one of my favorite designs to do. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it and we will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Bye.